What's up guys, Breaking RC here with a video on my new car. This is a 2018 Toyota 86. I'm going to start over by doing a walk around of the car. Now for the 2018 models, they did change the name from Scion FRS to Toyota 86. So you'll notice it has Toyota badges now, as well as the headlights and front bumper were changed out for a more aggressive design. For the 2018 model, you also do get new wheels. And then the fins right here were changed out no longer featuring the 86 badge since they moved it down right here. Now going over the side profile of the car, it's pretty much the same as the older ones. And now here's the rear end. They changed the rear bumper and the tail lights. Also the rear diffuser. Now going over the performance of the car, it's a 2 liter boxer 4 cylinder that makes about 200 horsepower, it's front engine and rear wheel drive. Now going over the interior, the first thing you're going to notice when you sit inside is just how low it is compared to other cars. Now since this is a sports car, you're going to have these nice sport bucket seats. And they definitely hug you in well for a nice aggressive sporty feel. Now starting off with the materials, you'll notice you have a nice suede padding right here for your arm and then this is all perforated leather and you have a nice armrest right here made out of leather and leather around the speaker. You also have leather above the gauges and on the shift boot and the handbrake. Also the steering wheel is leather wrapped. Now since mine's an automatic it features these paddle shifters and now you have this nice touchscreen display with Bluetooth audio. And then you also have a USB cable and an aux cord. And here's your climate controls. And you'll notice this nice suede material continued out through the dashboard and then into the other door. This car does feature a back seat, but if you're gonna be putting people back here, it won't be for too long because there's hardly any leg room when you have the seat back. But for short drives, it is possible. One of my favorite parts about the interior is the seats. They're these sport bucket seats and they really bolster you in really nicely. You'll notice they have side bolstering right here, which is pretty aggressive, but for daily driving, it's actually quite comfortable. 
and they're made out of cloth, but if you get a higher end model, you'll get uh, Alcantara and leather material. Now to pop the trunk, you have this button on the interior. You just hold it down. And now you can open the trunk. Now, at first it doesn't seem like there's too much space because it doesn't go very deep. But when you put the rear seats down, it actually will have a lot more space. So, it's not enough space like an SUV, but it definitely is a lot for a small sports car. It also does feature a backup camera. Now to start it up, you have this basic key. You just plug it into the ignition and get it started. Now going over the reverse, you just stick in a reverse and you'll see it actually has the backup camera on the mirror, which is pretty new. You actually don't get this on the 2017 models. On the 2017, it's just on a display, but for the 2018, you do get it on the mirror. The car does have a pretty nice idle for being stock. Something that's pretty cool about the car is that now since it's considered a Toyota 86, you'll find these Toyota 86 badges all over the car. Like you have it inside of the headlight, on the fender, as well as on the center of the steering wheel. So since this is the new project car for the channel, I'm gonna start posting more videos on upgrades, you know, my thoughts on the car, just going to be recording the overall build process. I already have some things in mind such as rocket bunny, wheels, coilovers, exhaust. Just going to start building the car. Not quite sure what I'll be doing with it but definitely not keeping this in stock that's for sure. Like I said I won't be keeping the car stock so make sure to comment down below what you think I should do next. I'll start posting videos such as thoughts on the car, upgrades, and going over the build. So make sure to subscribe so you can see all that happen. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. And I'll see you for the next one.